Mortgage rate buy down options. What is a 2 1 buy down? Our market is beginning to shift from a seller's market to, in many places across the country, a buyer's market. That's good if you're a buyer. Now, you may be hearing in the media that it's not a good time to buy because interest rates are up. In fact, maybe you're thinking that you can't afford to buy a house now with these higher interest rates, but that's not necessarily the case. Let's take a look at a very good strategy that actually might help you in this buyer's market. So when we think about the rate buy-down options, there's a 2-1 buy-down, there's a permanent buy-down, there's a 3-1 buy-down, there's a 1-1 buy-down, all kinds of ways to buy down rates. Today, we're gonna to focus on what a 2-1 rate buy-down is. A 2-1 rate buy-down is also known as a temporary buy-down. Temporary buy-downs allow borrowers to reduce their effective monthly payment for a limited period of time through a temporary buy-down of the interest rate. In a temporary buy-down, the effective interest rate a borrower pays during the early years of the mortgage is reduced as a result of the deposit of a lump sum of money, sometimes called a subsidy into a buy-down account, a portion of which is released each month to reduce the borrower's payments. A common temporary buy-down is known as a 2-1 buy-down. So how does a 2-1 buy-down really work? A 2-1 means that the mortgage payment in years one and two are calculated at rates of 2% and 1% respectively below the actual home loan rate. The note rate and the monthly payment you pay is never actually reduced and the full rate and payment must be reflected on the mortgage documents. At the end of the buy-down period, the buy-down funds are collected at closing, paid by the seller, and now those funds are used to help offset and reduce your monthly payment for the first 24 months of the loan. After that, your loan converts to what the actual note rate is on your home loan, and that's where it stays for the remaining term of your loan, as long as you own the house or you're in the loan. Now, how do you know if a two ones actually the right way to use the seller concession. Let's kind of walk through the scenario because we're having lots of these conversations today. Let's say that you're making an offer on a house and you'd like to ask the seller to contribute towards your closing cost. Let's just say in this scenario that maybe the seller agrees to give you $10,000. Now remember, all of the $10,000 has to be used towards your closing costs and or can be used towards a permanent rate buy down or maybe one of these temporary rate buy downs. So lots of different ways you can use these monies. Let's say in our scenario though, the seller does agree to give you $10,000. What an experienced mortgage lender is going to do is first and foremost ask you, what's the most important thing for you? Is it reducing your closing costs and funds that you have to come out of pocket with at closing? Is that what the most important thing is? Or is the most important thing having a more affordable payment in the first year or two of your home loan? Or are you most concerned and maybe you're not a risk taker and you just wanna use those funds to buy down your interest rate today into a permanent buy down? So many different conversations will really drive the best strategy of the way to use the seller concession towards your closing costs. In this example though, we are talking about this 2-1 buy down. So are there cons to the 2-1 buy down? Well, I would say that again, there's pros and cons to any home loan strategy and really diving deep into what's important to you is the key here. But in a 2-1, remember that this, you're using that seller money to buy down the interest rate for two years. Essentially what's happening is you're buying down your payment for two years because your actual home loan rate is whatever the current market rate is. Now, when we think about it, and we really kind of do this whole side-by-side -side thing, a 2-1 buy-down really does create affordability for buyers today. And the break-even point between a 2-1 buy-down and let's say a permanent buy-down, it looks to be anywhere around four to four and a half years, depending on the scenario when we're running these numbers. So that means, that if you're in a 2-1 buy-down, let's say that interest rates do drop in two years. Can you refinance and lower your permanent note rate? You absolutely can. So we're seeing that the 2-1 buy-down strategy is definitely a win if you think you're going to be in the home loan less than four years. Now, if you think that you're going to be in the home loan longer than four years, and what would drive that? What would drive that is what's gonna happen with interest rates, and guess what? nobody knows. But what we do know is when our country goes through a recessionary time, historically, we do see home loan interest rates come down. And that's what all the smart people out there are projecting, that we will see interest rates come down probably in the next year or so. But for now, if you wanna buy a house, what we don't want is that you just get sticker shock with today's current interest rates 
comparing them to rates of six months ago when that wasn't real. So this strategy is helpful to help with affordability in today's buying market. If you're considering buying in today's market, it is important to know your options. I recommend speaking to an experienced lender to find out what seller concessions are allowed for the home loan that you're taking out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope you found value in today's information. I truly have a passion for home loan education and would so appreciate if you would subscribe to this channel. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.